Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Cool. Wow. What do you think? It looks great. It's amazing. It's yeah. such a contrast from seeing it in the studio when it's just stacked up against the walls. I can find myself whispering just because it's so dark here. <laughs> I know, I feel it's quite, um, what's the word, meditative. I think that's the environment that your works create. And this one, it completely sucks you in. Like, it draws people into the space for sure. Because when you walk past outside, the way that it's lit, the, the contrast between the dark background and the figures, it's really enchanting. So this is uh, Henrik's third exhibition here at the gallery, so we're very, very excited to be hosting his work once again. It's also a very um, emotional time because Henrik's first exhibition at the gallery, Metanoia, was the first exhibition that we ever had at the gallery. Um, his second exhibition, Lethe, was also very, very well received and it was a huge departure for the artist. And uh, now we've come with this third body of work, which is um, very, very beautiful and fascinating. And uh, we have over 24 paintings that arrived this morning from the artist's studio. And um, the gallery for the first time will be um, complete with paintings both on the top floor and on the bottom floor. On the bottom floor, we have some more abstract works, which is a very new direction for the artist. Um, vastly monochrome works, which are derived from his uh, bodies and his portraits. They are mostly white and black, and they'll be downstairs. And on top floor, we have uh, mainly bodies and portrait works uh, on the black canvases that um, Henrik Aldalen is most renowned for. I uh, remember meeting Henry Kuldalen in 2017. I went to his studio. He used to have a, a very small uh, studio in, uh, in uh, East London. And uh, we just get along together uh, very nicely. And we became so close. And today it's just extraordinary to, uh, to show his, uh, his new series of painting at the gallery. It's breathtaking, uh, this show. Uh, all the work, all the paintings are so much emotional. And it's just like every, every painting, they are so strong. Uh, the face, the texture, the, the black also, you know, the black, the black mat. It's just, uh, uh, it makes you think. I think it's not a show and you come and you say I'm gonna look at it in 10 minutes or 5 minutes. That's, I think you really need time to come and uh, feel every painting because every painting is a, is, a, is a different emotion. I've done classical painting for such a long time and it doesn't excite me as, a, as it used to do. So I wanted to take a step away from it. Half the day, I feel like ripping something up or mm -hmm. throwing it out of the studio or yeah. burning oh, it. You know? Burning so, it, yeah, like the blood. So I have yeah. a, a lot wider emotional range these days, and yeah. I need to express it all. So sometimes I do spend eight hours on painting a foot and a heel, but then the rest I just need to splash onto the, mm -hmm. onto the canvas in, in less than ten minutes. And it's about progress for me personally, but also uh, technically and, and trying out new techniques, trying out different things, trying to mm -hmm. find more accurate ways of saying things that I've been saying for a long time. Yeah. Kind of honing in um, and being more more close to what, what feels, this is abstract feeling that I'm trying to express. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the exhibition Love in Exile. Well, exile comes from um, an idea of Camus mentioning that the discrepancy in between uh, humans' search for meaning and uh, the intrinsic lack of meaning in the universe creates, a, creates the absurd. And the absurd will give you a feeling of being in exile. He was himself uh, Algerian and moved to, to France and he describes it as being in exile. So this exhibition is about finding 
in one way I would say losing hope losing the hope that you know you'll be happy at the end of this you'll be you'll feel fulfillment or you you will find the, the great meaning of life when once this has happened or this has happened stop thinking about that start enjoying the little things in life with the struggles with the hardships and just kind of enjoying the struggle so Camus claims that the hope for something better is what makes us unhappy so it's due of acceptance perhaps and being in the present. Being in the present. So love in exile for me is about yes. enjoying everything there is about this ex existence, which is also the hardships and struggles and, and, and terrible times that we've you know, all gone through. Everyone experiences hardships and, and suffering, uh, but accepting it and starting to almost enjoy it.